Hello, my name is Erika and welcome back. Uh, today I will uh, make the monsters and uh, all that stuff. But first, what uh, you will have to do if you want to, uh, you can download your uh, monst monsters from the store or uh, you can import your own monsters if you have one or you open your browser and uh, I will leave this link in the description box uh, here on this site you can find the 3D models that you can use in your game if, if they are free of course and I've used this X load. Come on, work with me. It's right here. Now, after you download it, your character, you will import it here. Or you can drag and drop the entire folder. Now what you do is um, find your first person controller. Well, it's right there. And drag and drop this monster right here and scale it down Point one. it's it's too big still too big as you can see there it is and it's still too big a little bit more add the zero here and let's see now this is too small or I don't know let's see And now what we will do is we will make him stand up and rotate him whoops like this like this and make him stand up like he's standing right in front of you Let's see if this works a little bit like this, like this. And he's standing up just fine. I think he looks just fine. He's perfect. I think we should... Now we can drag and drop it. Attach this to the first person controller. Now what you want to do is uh, adjust this. Um, as you like. Um, what I mean is if you hit the play button uh, this character to be where you want it to be as far or as uh, close as you want it to be. I will adjust mine as I want it to be and I will be back. I'm done with mine and it it looks like this. I 
I mean for me it's pretty good now if your monster doesn't look like this I mean with the skin on and everything uh, you have these objects here if you click here on this arrow uh, this will pop up and uh, you will uh, change this or or on diffuse or bump to diffuse and uh, you will um, put the materials here every material you will use those and uh, you will make your monster now what you want to do is uh, uh, go to script make another script uh, also javascript and name it enemy or whatever you like I will name mine enemy like this and double click to open it and now um, let's begin we will need um, I think three, three, three variables first we will use the word time left equals to 300 uh, this variable will count down um, uh, the time when, uh, we, uh, when that monster will jump in front of you and uh, will scare you and we will also need a variable um, named enemy uh, of the time game object like this and another variable scare scare oh. audio of the type uh, audio clip this time we won't use an array because it's just a single sound that we will use and now in the start function the enemy dot uh, set active will be false we don't want the player to see the monster at first that monster will appear after uh, a few seconds now in the update function we will start to count down time left minus equals to time dot uh, delta time and we will check if uh, time left time left uh, equals to zero if it's true and it equals to zero then we will call a function i will name it scare like this and uh, time left we will set another value to this uh, variable and uh, i will use a random the random random dot uh, range and I will select from a range of uh, 2000 and 200, I think that's 200, yes, um, seconds, uh, this is the range that uh, you can play with this range, how often do you want your monster to appear and um, that time will be selected uh, randomly from this range. And um, that's it with the update function and now we will create the a scare function function scare scare and now we will um, set the enemy dot set active to true to be visible and uh, we will play an audio clip play one shot play one shot scare sound scare audio uh, I forgot the E I mean it's written scare yeah scare scare okay, let's correct this here scare audio and now we will use yield yield dot wait for seconds 
and uh, you can play uh, with this also. I found that 0.7 works just fine. And now we set the enemy dot set active to false. So the enemy will be visible only for 0 0.7 seconds. Um, and uh, yeah, this should work. And after I debug this, um, after going here, I noticed that I have two errors and uh, yeah, here is with a space, not with that. That's why. F5. And let's see if everything is okay. And yeah, it works. And now what we will do, we will go to first person controller drag and drop the script that we just made but first we will need another audio source for uh, this sound that we will produce next drag and drop here and as you can see the enemy we will drag and drop this exploder right here and then audio sound and now let's see what this is the sound now we will go here drag and drop this here and uh, yeah it should work and I hope you will be able to see because my computer is uh, not that good and uh, but it works if uh, it's a bit laggy, it's because of my computer and I apologize for that. And if we wait, uh, you can see here it appears and the sound. And there is the timer, time left. And uh, when it uh, will be zero, it will appear. <laughs> and the sound is playing and yeah for me this is really scary and I don't know how I will survive this so this is it for this episode I hope you understood what I try to explain kind of because I'm not good at explaining things and um, yeah if you like this uh, please thumbs up and subscribe and um, if you make uh, some of these uh, things please send me a link if you want me to see it and uh, yeah uh, i will see you next time when i will um, uh, place items in the forest that the player will need to collect and uh, yeah, bye.